Welcome back, everybody. I am Seamony. I'm a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination Player, and today we are back at it again with some Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. And I just want to start this off by saying I didn't intend to play uh, EU Advanced Caps today. However, um, I simply could not get another style of game to fill. So... Instead, we will be playing EU Advanced Caps again. It is what it is, everybody. I do apologize if you are getting tired of the same thing over and over again. But to console all of you, we have some uh, uh, delightful classic fix tomorrow. We will be playing in round one of the Kill Pete open tournament season two and that will be some classic fixed uh some classic fixed and we'll see how that goes i will upload that because it is a tournament game regardless and uh maybe i'll win maybe i'll lose something in between could totally roll this pink cap that'd be kind of fun but i'm not going to do that i actually think that's a pretty the pretty meh capital. Hopefully purple's not just sitting here. Ready to scoop me up the moment I roll that. He is absolutely doing that. Um, and I lose two troops on that, which is not great. Uh, this player is almost certainly going to break me because I capped in a bonus that they probably wanted to cap in. So I might as well just let them do that. Uh, the benefit is that pink might break they don't break me back interesting that's actually super respectful of them i was gonna hold troops on that border but if they don't break me i don't really think there's any point in doing that um, both of us don't play for noob corner so i think removing purple's presence up there is pretty critical um i don't think pink just attacked into uh into purple. He is going to try to roll some twos down. I don't... I'm pretty sure he already got his card, so this is just a waste of troops. I mean, the three-on-one over here, I guess, isn't really that big of a waste. 89% roll. Uh, and pulls back this way. So, red is getting seven. Red does not get hit more than once. So, they will get seven. Fourth spot, I'm telling you... Pretty good spot to be in. I actually think my capital, this Trias capital with the blizzards that we have here is uh, pretty bad. It's honestly not a very good capital, but um, I will take it regardless because whatever. Um, I would have much rather have had the hungry cap that purple had, but we didn't get that kind of luck and, uh, and I was just going to take whatever. So we're going to try to win. That's always the goal in these games. Try to win, and we'll see how it goes. I know that uh, sometimes these settings can be a little bit repetitive. I like to try to cap in different spots or play with different styles because um, I want you guys to be able to watch a bunch of different stuff. I tried to get a Brazil advanced game today. I did not have the luxury of, uh, of that. So, um, tough, you know? It is what it is. We're, we're here. We're ready to roll. And uh, Red lets most of their timer run out. I don't think they're in Italy, but they very well could be. Blue uh, at least attacks once on the left side here. Somebody's probably in Noob Corner. That's part of the reason why I didn't even want to try to take Iceland yet. Um, he's going to try to roll. No, there's no way he hits my one, right? Blue's doing the exact same conundrum that... Uh, that we saw pink doing. <laughs> Not sure I understand, but uh, that, that'll give us a sense of the players we're playing with. Unfortunately, I think the purple player is probably pretty skilled, and I also think, unfortunately, they are holding their bonus as well. Yellow is our... Okay, yellow just sacked into my capital for absolutely no reason. A 9 on 7, and I actually got 4 troops off of that. Um... Do we think... What do we think we're working with here? There's a 5 on cap. Alright, we will back up. That's very irritating. 
not jazzed by that. I am jazzed by purple actually good neighboring me, um, despite the fact that there's really no reason he should. So, um, purple because of the position that he's captain, and he's actually on a two cap hold here. He could very well get broken by pink, but until I take pink's capital, which who knows if I even will be able to, um, Purple will be generating troops every single turn. I would just like to, by the way, to, to point out, this yellow capital is very bad. This is a terrible capital on these. Uh, mine's not good, but mine at least has a, th like a two-point lock, a three-point lock up here, and obviously one at the bottom. So four, four total points if you count capitals for spots to block from. Yellow's has two. You can block from G-Gel and Venice. He's completely closed off, has to come off in one direction as well. So I can't, like, I, at least if I'm here on Hungary, I can border three different territories. I have options of, of stuff to hit. Not the case for yellow. Red is getting 11 a turn. Uh, that implies probably uh, a lot of territory and one of these two bonuses in here. So I'm wondering if that means he'll hit purple out of Central Europe. I think that's what I would do. But he might be traveling up into Noob Corner or into one of these capitals over here. We know where yellow is. We know where purple is. We know where... Um, actually, I know... I think blue attacked out of Andalusia on that last turn. So I think red is in France. Or at least was. Um, if he good neighbors purple, I would be very surprised. But uh, yeah, purple is yet to break us, which is nice. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of luxury here. With the bad capital that I've picked. And I, I want you all to know that if you've made it seven minutes into the video like I have. I don't think this is a good capital at all. Blue is in the upper right. Okay. So he's just been cap stacking up there. That makes the sense as far as the rolling the singular ones uh, goes. It makes a little bit more sense. Um, I guess I'll... Um, I don't know. It's going to depend on what yellow does. If yellow comes and sacks into my cap again off of his own, we'll just take his, but I'm not really inclined to hit him. I'd rather knock purple out of Iceland and just hold Iceland on this next turn before red inevitably swoops in and yeets me out of there. But I think it's very possible we get yellow to bot out here. Hopefully yellow took Sardinia um, because that will give me the luxury. I mean, I guess it'll attack off into me anyway. I move directly after yellow, so I should be getting the freebie here if he bots out. But it just would have been so much nicer if he was capped on Sardinia versus Venice, because then I could hold a bonus between these two capitals, and, and it would help my progression in the early game in case purple did break me. But uh, we'll go a turn without purple breaking me. They're good neighboring me, and I don't understand why. I would break me 10 out of 10 times here. Um, I guess they don't know how much I have on capital at this point. I don't like that up there. That is... That is going to break me um, on the next turn, almost certainly. Unless this is a bonus taking bot. Definitely going to break me on the next turn. Um, I'll leave my 15 there. I'll kind of just let it happen, I guess. We'll put that there. 16 a turn. Yeah, figures as much. I'm not surprised that he is Central Europe. He's attacking Scandi now. Got to deal with my two there. You're not going to roll a three on two. The, the issue with purple is the moment I break purple... The moment I break purple over there, he will come right into me. Pink will take back behind himself. So, pink should... Here, here's a, a tip for you guys. If you find yourself in the position that Pink is in here, which is uh, Benghazi as their capital uh, with no hold over Orient, if you've got stuff back here and you're not super... It's the early game. You're not super worried about... Uh, even if it's the late game, if you don't see me get strong on any given turn, like more than 10, 10 troops a turn, I would really recommend, and, and he did this, I would recommend leaving these cards for your own access later on. Red does not take a second bonus. That is interesting. Blue's being very slow with their bonus, but they also have a well-defended capital. So, Blue's playing for Russia. Their natural expansion is going to really be into Purple's bonuses over here. 
so we'll keep an eye on that. Red goes down. That's that's potentially good. Doing my best not to burp into the microphone. That's what happens when I have Coke, uh, Coke Zero Sugar, not sponsored, um, but it is... Uh, Jeez, my hands look gigantic on this can. <laughs> it's uh, it's very carbonated, that's for sure. Why is he rolling? Just blitz. What are you doing? He's trying to leave one troop behind and it's not working for him. I don't know why I wouldn't just blitz it. Pulls the six back. Yep, he gets it back. So yellow bot's going to come into me and it probably breaks me with this five here as well a lot of ground has been taken though this honestly could be the end of yellow already i don't really want to set in yet but i don't know i don't i don't really i don't want to set in i also don't want to kill yellow but i think it's going to break me by the way fergus is here you can see the top of his head just barely right here yeah here it comes this eight is gonna sit right inside my my business most likely. That actually lost a troop attacking off there, did it? Yeah, it did. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. And I don't want to hit that because okay, it pulls a troop up as well. Um, that's frustrating. I do hold Iceland still, which actually helps quite a bit. Um. split that. Purple's obviously quite strong here, but I can't really afford to, uh, I, I can't afford to, like, I think he's just gonna hit in front of me. No, he doesn't hit in front of me. That's kind of him. I wonder if he rolled Pink's cap. He did not. I actually don't know what he rolled. He might have broken red. Or attacked part of yellow up here. I have no idea. Um, there's a very real possibility that if purple's not harboring yellow in behind him here, that yellow is exclusively on Hungary, Poland, Lviv, and then Sardinia here. And if that's the case, I will have free reign over that kill, provided that red's not able to hunt it down. Pink, uh, pink might be botting out here, which at first is beneficial for me, but honestly, in the long run, not really. The reason I say it might be beneficial is if I can scoop up the cap uh, after the bot out turn, which I'll have a turn to recover here to take both of these bonuses, hopefully. Um, but if, if pink bots out, the cap ideally, uh, with with pink holding this entire bonus, will go directly into purple. Now, that is a bot out. And it places next to me here. That's not great. That is not great at all. But I could scoop it up and then I'd hold the back door on on purple. I'm a little weak right now. At least weaker than I'd like to be. Purple bots. It, and, and, or, sorry, pink bots. It's probably going to be inclined to uh, hit me as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Red Red takes the early trade. That there's For some reason, this is a stigma I've seen lately where players will just, in progressive cards, when they're in like the fourth seat, fifth seat, they will just set in super early for no reason. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I understand why. It does seem like Red's taking this bonus down here. I, hopefully I'll have a turn. My next turn I'll be able to fortify everything here. Maybe I even kill Yellow if, if Yellow's almost dead. Um, Yellow could potentially be up here in the British Isles. Or maybe behind Pink over here. I might need to do some scouting. Blue still has not taken their bonus, but they're holding these like fours and fives off cap for some strange reason. It's probably going to roll my two. I was hoping to roll that pink uh, Donetsk there. Oh, he goes up. Stay up, please. Hit Yeah, hit red there. All right. I want to I want to try to single dice roll that down. He's pulling off capital. 
blue is the, the players in this game are playing the game very strangely. Purple's the only one who's really making some sense in terms of their play style. And the play players in our game, I'm green, C money, grandmaster level player in the first position. We've got the purple player, General Neptune 18972 in the second position. We have the pink player, where's Wally from the United Kingdom in the third position. We have the red player, General Chakrabordi from France in the fourth position. Um Here's what we're going to do. We're going to work off of this. We're going to work off of this. And we're just going to hope for the best here. I'm going to roll the 7 on 4. Just to see. Get that. And then let's go here. And hopefully. That is not the death. Unfortunately. That we were hoping it would be. Yellow lives on to see another day somewhere else. And I'm not going to take the risk of hitting him. I don't think purple will roll me in here. He'll take this out, which is fine, because if he takes this bonus up here, he's gonna go kill yellow himself. Oh, he took the he took the pink cap. Well played. I didn't even notice he took the pink cap. Um Oh uh, or you know what? He might have been sitting down here in Orient. Pink is still a bot. He might not have the cap. If it's on six, it is going to break me here, which is unfortunate. But I'll hold the bo both the bonuses down here unless red decides to uh, be a ghoul. It doesn't lose anything. It loses one. That's tough. Red's getting 18. I did not break them. I left them alone, but my caps are super weak. We've, we've got opportunity to strengthen these. Why? Please don't. I'm just going to throw him fist, fist bump. Just please don't hit me. Go hit pink, bro. I just, we, we don't need to do this. All right, all right, match it with a three. That's fine. I can match it with a three. We'll ignore the fact that I said bots hate me to this guy. A uh, little toxic, but it's all right. So I do have to wonder where yellow is. Um, I think yellow is either on Sevastopol or in the British Isles. But I think pink might have had all the British Isles. But I guess that's dependent on whether or not purple took the cap. I don't know. I don't remember seeing purple in here on the right side. But I also, it was getting six a turn, the bot was. So, Sevastopol or below blue's cap here on South Russia really seem to be the only true options here for where the yellow bot is. And blue will hit me here. Blue, blue's, yeah, blue's strange. Let's keep going. We got through red, General Chuck Bordy. Uh, the blue player, uh, a, a gas bird poo. Something like that. Uh, they're the, they're from the U.S. in the fifth position. Then the yellow player who bought it out, General Boulevard 132 from the United States, is in the final seat. Um, this might attack twice, actually, if it is on Sevastopol. We'll get a good sense of if it's on Sevastopol, if it's in... Uh, trades in. Alright, well we don't want to kill it then anyway. We want to let it get stronger. Um, but maybe we'll get a sense of where it is on this turn. Because it's not a lot of places that that's possible spots to be at this point. Does it attack? It does attack. Maybe... Well, Red didn't have all of these bonuses over here, so... Um... Oh, I set in. I'm actually very glad that I set in here because I wanted better cap defense uh, from red in particular. Uh, but I do want this bot to stop breaking me. So we'll pull away from red there. So now we have we have some some actually decent capitals. Purple. Uh, I presume has quite a bit of ground here. I would love it if red gave purple some business. It seems like purple took quite a bit more on that last turn than I thought they did, given that they were getting, I guess they were getting 18. They only went from 18 to 27 here. Oh my, I had my script. He accidentally moved that completely out of the way. Um, 
how do we rival this? We really need red's help. Purple's not hitting me, but red might not be jazzed by the quantity here. Is pink just up here? If it somehow does not trade in on four and it's just up here on the top left, that might be pretty good. But, but yeah, purple purple player, who's the player I think is the most competent, uh, competent I, I would give at least expert level, if not master, just based off of their initial play here. Not locking their capital off, being aggressive on, on pink's material down at the bottom here, etc. I think all of that is, is quite good. Uh, but red, I mean, this is the issue with, with purple's options here of, of just continuing to take more ground. Is that there's another player who's pretty strong. Are you willing to hit them? Or is he going to hit me? I think the moment he attacks here, he's going to regret it. Um, but I think he's going to attack here. He's not going to bother hitting purple, which I think is a mistake. I think red has a pretty solidified position, although he doesn't know where the purple capitals are. Um, and, you know, maybe he won't hit me. He also will see the cap the moment he does hit me. So it is what it is. I'm trying to get through the rest of this. I only got a little bit left. But I don't want to, like, be that guy throwing it back on the, on the, on the video. I think maybe red is, uh, is worried that I will hit him. So, should be careful, but. It's got a, a Lego brick separator that I'm scratching right now. Oh my God, is that what? Interesting. My uh, camera does not do well with very bright orange, apparently. Yeah, you see that? I can put the shadow on it. The the light the light almost shines off it too much. Blue goes up there. Yeah, so blue is moving so slow, man. Does trade in. He gets the 12 trade. Pink bot doesn't set in. We don't see where it attacks, but it does attack. I don't think there was any of pink bot up here. I'm almost worried that yellow bot will kill pink bot on this turn and set in off of it. Because red was still getting 18. So it's possible that red has... Plus 6 from West Africa. Plus 4 from Southwestern Europe. That's 10. Plus capital, plus 3 just for additional troops. It's, it's certainly possible up there. Um, but I think purple's taking everything over here. Let's go... 13, I guess. I don't really want to die, but... Is this three the final spot for pink? Because that would be wild if I got fed this. So that sets me in. Iceland, South, or Mercia. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to hit this. I'm going to put this back here for safe safety purposes. We're going to put a little bit over here just in case this doesn't kill it. And then... I think it's more likely Purple's puppy guarding this kill, but... Never mind. We get that one as well. Now the question is, do I become an enemy? Or do I play nice? Like, do I hit... Do I hit blue here? I don't... I don't think so. I think I just fortify my positions... I'll leave the six in the pocket. We'll fortify my cap and I'll slide the five back. I'll have a set on five. And if we absolutely need to do a reach around on purple, I can. But I think attacking purple is a mistake. He's getting 30 a turn. He's going to trade in. See, he didn't stack on me at all. This is what I was hoping for. He's going in on red. And I think it's more than likely if he goes in on red here, he feeds me the... No, he's killing blue. He's going to fail this kill. He's got to come off cap to kill him. And he doesn't set in off of this. This is a big mistake. This is a critical mistake. He's not going to have troops on one of these capitals. I can yoink one. 
Oh, I don't like that play at all. That 17 is going to come back here, but there's nothing on the Russia cap. We can go take that. And even this 15 isn't that good. He can knock us out of the left hand. He can knock us out of the left hand side. But what he can't do is protect his capital from my trade in here. And he didn't break me. So the question be red's gonna red's gonna hit me here. That's a mistake. This is a, this is a big mistake because you saw that purple was getting thirty a turn, and uh, yeah, I don't like that play. But my capital is now open to him. I don't need to take it. Uh, I do want to take purple's capital though. Please don't leave the twenty one in front of me like that. Please back that up. He's fortifying into it. He just fortified 50 troops forward. What are you doing? What? What? Why? You can have it, dude. I don't care. Take the cap, man. It's a terrible capital. He won't hit purple at all. That's such a strange move, dude. Are you really going to... Purple trades on four, dumps his entire set and in, in trade in on me. Will take me out of the left-hand side. Rolls this capital. I'm really getting pincered here, which doesn't feel entirely fair. That's a terrible roll. It'll completely remove me over here. This doesn't feel entirely fair because red red completely had the opportunity to hit purple there. Purple's getting 30 a turn. You try to break the person up. You don't fortify and Oh, he's going to keep going. Oh, he's hitting red. Okay. That's questionable. I mean, he's going to be holding a ton of ground. I don't know where red's cap is. That's part of the problem. Is if I knew where red's capital was, I would have... I would have gone through red and not pissed off purple. Oh, purple's only got 23 on cap. Red gets six a turn, so it's really just cap plus additional territories. He'll take my cap here for sure. Um, don't know why you stacked up to 50 in front of me, but it is what it is. Uh, is he going to dump all of it here? Are you really going to put all... You can hold this on your own. You just got walloped. I'm not going to hit purple. I, I don't see any benefit in that. This feels very targeted. I, I don't... It, not even teaming because of what purple did to red. But red's play here... Like, I would just leave this as a 50 if you're going to take it. It doesn't make much sense to me. He's not fast. Purple's not on a set, right? So... And neither will red. Red won't either. So I don't really think I'm at risk of either of them taking this capital here. Um, I think I just dump, yeah, whatever, you, you can take this, I don't care. Uh, thanks, and then we just go take as much of... We just hit all of those, and we go back to cap. We're on four cards. If I can get this capital from him, yeah, see, Red doesn't hit him at all on the bottom, that's the issue. Red instead holds the 69 cap here. Thanks. Do I have a trade? I don't have a set on three. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, he can't claim any of these bonuses back. And he re-breaks red. So the question becomes, does red come up and roll me here? Why? Play your game, man. I don't, I don't understand this. You're getting... You're getting all your bonuses removed, and, and your goal... And you, okay, he goes down. Finally, he goes down. That's like you're only hitting me. It doesn't feel very... uh doesn't feel very cool. So I can take... I can take UK, Iceland, and, and Scandinavia. Yeah, Red's play this game has been very strange. I don't... 
I don't really know why they didn't deal with purple earlier, but purple did the best thing in the world by helping or by continuing through me into red. Red comes back to cap. How much does he exhaust on hitting purple? I think he a ton. Oh, he took this cap on Benghazi, didn't he? The concern here is that if purple's got a set, he can come into me, but I'm just going to take all of these and then we're going to pull this back to this cap here and we'll have a guaranteed trade here. Unfortunately, didn't have a trade. Interesting. He doesn't. So he must have just sacked up in front of red because red has, I mean, this is 15 troops here. Purple puts 12 up there, which I think is, I think this is a mistake. I think he needed to put more up by me. He'll break these bonuses that I have. Or is he... No, he's... Yeah, he's breaking me. I was going to say, is he going to try to, like, go for a truce here? Instead, he, he trades in on three, commits most of that trade into red. And I'm, I still exist up here, right? So I can just remove him from the left side of the map, force him into red, or force him up through my capital. He's going to try to single dice roll me down here, which I actually hope he succeeds with. I hope he succeeds these single dice rolls so I can... Yeah, I can path better through him. We come down from... Uh, Okay, he, he leaves in front of me, but I have this path open to his cap. Red's going to place... Uh, so he doesn't break red at all, because red has the huge stack that was sitting in front of him. I th well, not from Nalut, right? What did he have? He had Orient, Southeastern Europe, and Double Capital. Although, actually, now that I think about it, red definitely took... I mean, I'm going to... Watch him fort... If he fortifies in front of me here, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to trade in and I'm going to wipe him off the face of the map. Nice. Splits back. You leave seven there. I, I, I need to fortify my capitals before the trade in, but um, I'm also going to guard this purple kill here. Does red take this cap on Benghazi back? If we see it jump to three again, because he did take this cap from purple. Obviously took the capital from me. But Purple's going to be fighting a battle with two players here, which I don't really think he wants to do. There's a chance I could even double set before he gets a single set off again. 52 is quite a bit. Um, I want to leave these three territories here. I want to put just maybe 10. 60 should be good, and I can fortify the rest back here once I'm done. Um, but we will go a nice full cycle here. Which might, this actually might get red to break me. Broke him already. I'm not going to hit red. There's no, nothing good comes from hitting red here right now on four cards. And I have a set of my own. Purple's still getting 20 a turn. Yeah, so red really has not done enough damage down here. He's just gonna he's just gonna take a card this time. He's playing the game slower. Two cards, I guess. That boxes his capital off. Strange play. Alright, does red come into me? I gotta set on three so I can respond to it. He shouldn't he is gonna come into me. Don't like that. Instead of breaking purple, he comes into me. I don't like that at all. And he's gonna come into me with a big old stack. I don't know what I did to this guy. You'd act like I, like, uh, committed some sort of felony to him. He's very slow. The benefit is he's slow. I don't think he's going to get very far. Uh, and then I can just break him on the back door. I think that's the the best way to pl beat this player is going to be to break him on the back door. Because he is... Just kind of a breaker type player. So letting him hold bonuses when he's this slow is not in my best interest. He does... Uh, there's a mistake here, I think. Unless the 16 gets up at the last moment. But he's traded in already. We'll trade in on three. 16 doesn't go anywhere. I don't even... He doesn't fortify that off, so we'll just let him hold Iceland here. Um, again, let's hold my cap up nice and strong. I'll even come down off of this. As long as I don't hit... If I can hit these two. I don't think that's open. Well, I don't actually care if that... This particular spot is open to me. Uh, we go here. He can't get cap across that. Threshold. That's a cap I will take.
lose quite a bit on that, but I can pull this over here. That's a really, this is also a very bad capital. So yellow's capital is very bad because of uh, double card block. This is very bad because Andalusian and Gascony is a, a two point card block uh, with no bonus, mind you. So both of those are no bonus card blocks. Purple's capital is probably the best in the game. Lots of spots to attack off of. That's why I want, that's why I took it earlier. That's why I still want it now. Um, we break red in everything but Iceland and Italy. So he'll have those two bonuses, but those aren't nearly as strong as what he was working with before when he was getting like 26 a turn. Um, and purple won't be able to get very far here. He's going to try. He'll try the two on one. He might succeed. It's a uh, dice rolls of doing the dice rolls of singles, about a 41% roll versus 37. If you blitz 15 to turn for red here. Um, won't be able to get to this capital because he left his gigantic stack off cap. Come down and break me, brother. Unfortunately, we're on a singular card right now, so we can't do a whole lot. And I anticipate red brings down the gigantic stack. I'd rather force him to roll a capital than, um, than do anything additional. But I can I can view bonuses down here as well. He hasn't actually taken anything. He'll probably yeah he's gonna go for France here. Uh, or does he stop and just fortify the big stack down? And he stops and he's gonna fortify the big stack down. So I'll let him roll the twenty cap. I probably should have let him roll a cap earlier. And you bring this all the way down. You bring it down to the ten. Oh, no no not to the three. You bring it down to the ten. He does bring it down here. All right. Um, we're just going to make sure we break up here and then come across here. Interesting. He just, he just left that there for free. far as I can there. I'll bring this back to capital. Still getting 20 a turn, but the benefit is he's... Oh! Uh, yeah, 12 up here. He'll break this. That's fine. Yeah, purple not fully card blocking himself, but I don't like that I'm the one fighting both of these players. You know, purple exclusively attacked me. It just feels a little... Just a little grimy. And I'm not going to be able to kill Red, but I can at least force him into... I can probably force him into uh, Purple. He's going to roll a cap. I just realized he didn't actually have a cap here. Lost, what, 26 there? That's not great. Um, he left nothing on the capital in here, by the way. Absolutely nothing on that capital. And he, and he won't hit Purple, so I need to kind of chill here on this next turn. Um, but I'm, I, I don't think I can at this point because both of them are exclusively going into me. They're going to stop there. He stops there. Does he bring that back to capital finally? Oh my God. He actually defends. Nope. Nope. He doesn't even bring it back to a capital. That is actually hilarious. And he didn't even really move it over. I can't get through that because I don't have any bonuses. I don't really care about the 7 capital. I'll just let him roll it. Purple really needs to hop off. Like, just leave me You're getting 20 a turn. Leave me alone. And he's going to keep fortifying this, which, like, good for you. But hit the other guy. Why? This is so tiring. Because they're both going to go into me. It's I, I'm getting 13 a turn, dude. I, I got to back off. I just got to hold these two caps and back off. Gain strength here. I don't know what I did to purple. I guess I took his cap earlier, but I haven't done anything to him in a while besides take my own bonuses back. And he's playing like this, so... I don't know. Red's just gonna hit me here. I'm not gonna have a lot of leeway. Which is frustrating. I don't have a set right now. It just... It feels... 
again, purple went through red earlier, so definitely they're definitely not teaming, but or, or they're not collaborating, but they're certainly teaming. And I don't think that red even knows that he's teaming. But I think purple is deliberately hitting me because he knows red's not a good player and that red will keep hitting me despite the fact that originally I did nothing to him. Right? Red could have gone in here, taken this lower capital, and, and instead, you know, he's going to need to get snuffed out of this game before before anything really happens. So I'll fortify my caps. We'll take a singular time here. We'll call it a day. He actually lets me keep this, which is a mistake because this just gives me two extra troops. Uh, for a capital I simply don't care about. Um, so, that's cool, I guess. Uh, let's get this up to 90, 61, sure. I don't know, I'll try to dice roll it. Chances are super low. We might as well try. I mean, you're being a jerk to me, dude. I didn't I didn't do anything to you. I got my take up there. We're not even going to bother elsewhere. 30 a turn. I, like, I, I really couldn't care less at this point. I, I need to force him to hit red so that red does something to somebody else. But he's, ex he's going to exclusively hit me here. Like, he's only going to remove me. But I think I need to let purple get strong just to have a chance in this one. Um, it's helpful that he removed two of red up there. If he hadn't done that, I don't... Red might feel more inclined to go into him now. But it stinks, right? Because I, I have a player who clearly knows what they're doing in purple, who is targeting me, which makes complete sense. And then I have a player who has no idea what they're doing, which is red. You know, hasn't doesn't realize the gravity of the capitals, hasn't defended them to begin with. But I need to let red get strong. It's as simple as that. I, he's going to hit me here, but... I, I need to let... Oh, he, he does hit purple. All right. He didn't like that purple hit him there. But he's too slow. That's the issue. He's holding all of these troops off capital. Um, he has one cap right now, and his troops uh, aren't on it. So he's killable in the right circumstances. Unfortunately, I don't know how much he's holding down here. Because I think purple was getting 20... Southeastern Europe, Orient, double capital from North Africa is 7 plus 10, 17. Yeah, so purple was hold. Red has troops on the loot that he's blocking purple off from moving uh, with down below. Does this give... All right, we don't actually hit with this four. I don't hit with the four. If I hit with the 4, I accidentally open his cap up to my 68, 70 cap up here, and he could potentially take that off of a trade, and I don't want to risk that. Um, there's only so many more territories of mine that purple can take, right? And that's what I kind of want to force him to just remove me from other parts of the map so that I can just play my own game here and, and maybe even force him to lock his capital. But it does seem like he's hitting red. Uh, so hopefully red goes into him. Or maybe he kills Red, but he spends all of the troops to do it. I mean, the trades are high. We're at 75. Yeah, hit me. Oh, yeah. Come on, one more. Oh. I don't want to be over there because I don't even want Red to have the idea that he can take my, my territories. 13 a turn. What was he getting last turn? He's getting 19. So purple broke him down in the bottom here. So we have a little bit better of an idea. I just need I need Red to attack faster. That's the biggest thing is, you know, he had this weird... The moment he broke in here earlier on Sardinia and didn't go after Purple when Purple was getting more per turn than me, that was when I knew. I was like, this guy has no idea what he's supposed to be doing here. So we have to get Purple into a spot with a card block. And the way we do that is we, we just can't... I mean, there's actually a lot of ways we can do it. I actually think my caps are in... A, Surprisingly better spot than you'd think. Yeah, I figured he was going to hit that. And probably, yeah, he didn't split back, I don't think. So he just locked that stack. Given the fact that we haven't... Oh, no, he... All right, he did split. Just took him a while. Um, once we can lock Purple's cap up here, I actually think there's quite a bit of bandwidth to, to card block him because if we manage to get the Galicia cap eventually, and I'm talking real late game here... Um, 
170. That would I would love to have enough to take that, but I don't think we do. Uh, now I'm I'm totally fine opening up capitals now. 150 here, 94 here. If he wants to go for it, he can. I still and I got a joker. That's big. We can hold on to that. 28 a turn sets in. Hopefully just wallops red. Wallops him but doesn't kill him and then red goes right back into him. That's my goal here. He doesn't place anything on me. So all of this is going into red. I did remove my pathing off of this 96 cap up top. But we have a card. As long as he doesn't get this Galicia capital, we have a card block on Nalut. And then we have to just get him to hit Kiev, uh, Kiev and Lviv. And then that is a card block that we can set on him. And we'll own much more of the board than Purple does. Purple hits a lot of uh, territory there. and Might have even taken the capital. Let's see how much red is getting. 13 still. So he doesn't get past a certain point, it seems. But he definitely irritated him for sure. Um, so I don't, I don't ever want to hit Kiev. Ow. Oh, Fergus just dug his nail right into my knee. Oh, boy. I didn't even move. He just moved himself. That was tremendously uncomfortable. So Red's, Red's going in pretty hard right now. He also has just completely left my 9 capital alone. Um, We have a potential kill guard on purple over here if we need it. Which is nice. Red, Red's actually done a lot more attacking on this particular turn than I expected. I want to leave attacks off of cap here. I have kind of a kill guard on red, but not really. Neither of these players have a trade-in right now, guaranteed. And we're just gonna we're gonna play our game. We gotta kinda we gotta play slow here. Unfortunately, I don't wanna play slow, but we got reds anger off of us and purple is exhausting so many troops into red right now as it stands where i'm not really concerned um he obviously could get the kill and that'll make it a little bit more difficult but most of the troops he's getting each turn especially we haven't seen this 106 cap grow at all over the past three or four turns even including the last trade-in uh, which is nice he pulls 10 up here he does get red down to four so he took the capital on Galicia, which means Red's either going to attack off this 34 and hit my 9. Yeah, that's a mistake. Uh, do I have a set without the... I don't have a set without the Joker, but I think going for the kill on Red here might be... I don't know if I have it, though. He finally took this cap, but he lost a lot of troops on that. 15 compared to 9. Got the 150 here. I just want to gain vision on other parts of the board, but I don't want to waste the Joker. I also don't want to feed the kill to purple. That's my problem right now. I think I think I just place troops up top here, and I go searching for the red kill, but not... I just see if there's a big stack anywhere. I think that's my biggest benefit. So three capitals tells me... That purple still has the Galicia capital, because I'm on two now. Um, yeah, let's go. Uh, well, we got to take. I'll wait a turn. We'll let purple hit red. And then hopefully I can kill red myself. He stacks it right back up to seven here. Hopefully red doesn't have a set on three. If red doesn't have a set on three, I can set in. We don't use the Joker setting in. We have three artillery. And then we can kill red. Provided red does not set in, right? Because purple is probably going to exclusively go into red on this turn. We might even see it jump to four caps. If it jumps to four caps, that's actually really bad. If he jumps to four caps, that's bad. We don't want him to jump to four caps. Because we want to be able to attack off of our 150 to go for the entire kill. Is he down to three? If he's down to he's down to nine, so he held France, maybe? No, uh I think he held Italy actually. Alright, uh trade ins are super high. He's on he'll be on four cards. It's the moment of truth, everybody. This is this is really gonna be what makes or breaks this game, I think. 
is uh, is this right here. And if we ever see these caps jump to two, we'll know that red has rolled something down, which is super beneficial to us. Uh, but I have to, I think I have to go for the kill here. We need this player out of the game. We need to force purple into a position where I can defeat him. He's a little bit slower than me. Still skilled, though. Definitely a skilled player. And, and red's done a lot of attacking on this turn as well. So we trade in. I'm going to come off com completely off capital. He hasn't rolled anything. He has not rolled any capitals. Because I have two. Oh, he just rolled a cap. He just rolled a cap at the very end there. All right. Rapid fire. I would love to slide her, but... Not over here. Get the kill. We really get the kill there. Like that was that was beautiful. Uh, and we don't even have to use the Joker again, so we'll have that guaranteed on the next turn. Sardinia is where I'll put that. I don't want a ton of troops uh, uh, on capital, on the bad capitals, that is. But I need some on the bad capitals. Um, I don't want him to be able to take this. All right. So he's still going to get 20 a turn here, but we own so much of the board and we have a set. We have a set without the Joker, everybody. Massive. Absolutely massive. We can just, we can set a block up here on, on, actually I don't even want to set the block on Petro. I'd rather set it. Is this a not win? This might not even win. All right. So I'm not going to set here. It doesn't make any sense for me to set here. It really doesn't make any sense to set here. I, I guarantee myself a card here. Um, I got to force him to hit. Well, I'm, I can't force him to hit anything yet. So let's get this up to 30. I'm just going to go 14 there. 35 on cap here. I want, well, I kind of want him to roll that cap, but... Um, all of my caps pretty reasonably well defended, and then we'll just hit here to uh, retain bonuses a little bit, uh, and we'll bring this back to a capital as well. Um, I, we want to force him to roll a cap with his trade in, right? That's the that's the goal here. Hundred troops, probably blast through the thirty. Yeah, hundred and twenty off the thirty. If he hits a capital here, we just respond with our own trade in, and uh, and hopefully get a nice clean block on him. Perfect. Uh, well, all right. If he even rolls it, man. Oof. He pulls off this capital. So he gets a little bit of ground that only puts eight on it. Okay. Um, that was not a lot at all. So I'm just going to roll that back. And we get a pretty good roll as well. And now we'll see if he's got a set on three. Um, he's doing the little devil face. I hope you have a set on three, because so do I, pal. So do I. 37 on that. He's taking a different route this time. Go for it, dude. Oh, is he going to try to go roll the 30 cap? Oh, this is brilliant. This is so much better than I could have imagined. I think he thinks he's funny. He, the little devil horns there are so, this is actually like, you ever like read a book and the characters don't know what's going to happen, but you know exactly what's going to happen or you know information that the characters don't? That's how I feel right now. 
I feel like the purple player is the character that doesn't know the information. Um, which is really just so funny to me. He got a lot of ground there. That should be the game, because he won't be able to break through. I mean, even if he hits this and wins. No, he fails, so he actually has to come off cap now. That's exactly what I wanted. The card block's the easiest thing in the world to set now. Actually, the easiest thing. He just made the card block guaranteed. He also guaranteed me a card. I can just hit that there. We hit this here. We come in off of that, so it's 20. Go 25 here. 25 here. I'll go this here. Um, oh, I probably should have waited on that one. Oh, well. Uh, I didn't need to take that card. This way he opens me to the cap on this next turn. He could end up having a set on three. He'll, oh, he stops there. Fortify off. That's a mistake. I'm going to make these all 30 just in case. I don't think he has a set right now. Or he's leading me on and he's not using the little devil horns this time. Um, and I'm not worried about the AD there. We'll throw it on this cap in case he goes and takes a peek at it. I'll throw the 5 on... Oh, you know, I'm gonna throw the. I'm just throwing these on these other caps so that if he does have a set on three, he doesn't. He's not able to get anywhere. Uh, we have a guaranteed card here, uh, so that will be my next card because we open up a capital otherwise. Unless he fortifies off, which it does not appear like he's going to do. I have a set on three. Um. And we're just going to have to stuff him out. We'll take our one card that we have. And we'll just stack up off this capital. Not a great roll, but... Um... Alright, I think we got him where we want him. We, I, I just... So, if you made it this far in the video, the important thing I think was in this particular game was just taking a back seat to... The fortifies... Oh, he stacked and then fortified off completely. The joke, guys, the joke is entirely on him. He thinks he's... I don't know why you'd put that in front of the capital. He actually had a chance here. Uh, the joke is on you, brother. I, I got him back right again. Now, obviously, not entirely sure if he has additional troops on this capital. I assume, based off of the blitzing here, that he does not. But, uh, just taking a step back when Red was doing all that tomfoolery, I think, was important. Right, good game. Good game. Well played. Good luck. Thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, I think it was important when they were both hitting me. Step back. I don't... The bonuses at this point when the trades are 80, 90, 100, they're not nearly as important. And sometimes you just need to snuff somebody out. You got to pay attention to what's happening. I realized that Red was getting really walloped by Purple because Purple didn't have anything of mine to really remove. Um, and, and then I get the kill, get the trade in off of it, and set the card block right away. And fortunately, I got a little bit lucky with the cards there. As previously stated, I said purple's either an expert or a master, and they are, in fact, a master. Uh, yellow is an expert. Yellow bought it out 
very early. I, I don't think an expert would have picked the cap, uh, the cap that they did, but I guess they played out of the sixth position, so it's not always guaranteed. And then beginners all around with the other three players in the game. If y'all enjoyed this one, hit that like button down below, everybody. I want to thank two subscribers, recent subscribers to the channel, uh, the Miss Light and Lumos. To the two of you, thank you very much for subscribing. If you want to be shouted out in an upcoming video, all you got to do is subscribe and make sure you have public subscriptions on. So uh, thank you, everybody, for joining me. We're growing like crazy right now. The support has been fantastic. So uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I upload videos just like this one every single day. Comment down below what you thought about this one. If you want to catch the video that YouTube recommends for you, right here above my head, the subscribe button in the upper right-hand corner. As always, everybody, I have been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.